Well, they say dogs are a man's best friend, but I think ladies' chocolate is a lady's best friend. Welcome to week number eight for Philadelphia Cream Cheese Dessert Week. Hi everyone, Marisa from Toronto. I am so glad to be back. I have to send a big thank you to Jeanine and Heather for helping me get back on because without their help, I would not be here sending you a new video. And they have such big hearts and I am sending my love to them. Today, I'm gonna show you something wicked. It is not for the lighthearted. It is for real chocoholics. It's so intense, you're going to love this. In this bowl, I have six ounces of dark chocolate and three ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. This chocolate reminds me of when I was a little girl making mud pies in my backyard. I would wait for the rain to come so that I could zoom out when it stopped and go to all my neighbors and pick the favorite soil that I had, just perfect enough to make my mud pies. <laughs> so in my mixer, I have one eight ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese light. I'm going to add two sticks of butter, which is one cup of butter, and I'm going to add that melted chocolate that you saw me mixing. So when I was a little girl, I had so many recipes for mud pies. And I didn't just call them mud pies, I called them mud cakes. Because I would make single layers, double layers, triple layers. I would mix different neighbors' soils in order to come up with the most perfect consistency for my mud pies. And now that I'm a big girl, I'm making real life mud pies that are so delicious to eat. <laughs> So, I'm going to mix the ingredients together and my Philly cream cheese is at room temperature and today I'm using two sticks of Philadelphia cream cheese. And this is a volcano cake to the extreme. It's got two types of cheesecake inside it. And I'm always trying to discover how I can get things to melt and gush out of something in order to get the wow factor in my desserts. I have three eggs that I'm going to add to this mixture and one cup of sugar. I'm going to add only half a cup of flour to this mixture on low because I don't want the flour to all come out and hit me. And one big teaspoon of instant coffee. I love adding coffee to chocolate. It gives such a nice, robust flavor to the chocolate. So this doesn't have any baking powder, very little flour. It's going to rise because of the eggs and then it's going to fall and sink, which is the wonderful look of a volcano cake. Otherwise called lava cake, but mine are volcanoes and you'll see why. So I'm just going to lift the beaters as the beaters are going on slow to help me clean some of the mixture off of the beaters and this is done. This is half of my mixture. So I'm going to spoon amounts into my ramekins and my ramekins are sprayed. I'm going to fill it up three quarters full and these are so decadent and rich. Your guests will love these. And it's so fast and easy that it won't take any time at all. In fact, you could take this mixture and make it the day of, earlier in the day, and then pop it in because it only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to bake. Pop it in when you're ready to serve desserts because this has to be served warm, and liquidy. So we have another brick of Philadelphia cream cheese, three quarter cup of icing sugar, that's going to help liquefy the cream cheese, one lemon peel zested, and one egg. So in my clean bowl, I've going to add the ingredients again. And this reminds me of one day when I was little, I found a box thrown in the garbage of instant skim milk powder. 
Well, I went to town with that skim milk powder. Now I have filling. I have frosting for my mud cakes. I would use a spatula, which was my popsicle stick. I would use knives that were plastic and use the ridges to make decorations around my cakes. I was the queen of the street of mud cakes. And I call them cakes because they were an inch tall. None of these little pies for me. And I would just whip up different concoctions with different consistencies and try to make cupcakes, always looking for the perfect container to put my cake in so that it could dry. And when it came out, it wouldn't crack. And that took a heck of a lot of patience because that took days for that mud pie or mud cake to dry. But I had so much fun as a child doing it. And I don't think children do that anymore. I don't think parents want their children in the house all full of mud. <laughs> so this is at room temperature. I'm just going to whip it up a little bit more. And the lemon peel is going to impart some nice zesty flavor to the inside of that volcano. And we are done. Look how quick it is. I'm just going to make sure that I get some of those lemon zested peels off of here. And now I'm going to continue filling up my containers. So this is a thinner mixture. Come a little closer, take a look. This is a thinner mixture than the chocolate. So it should sink right down. I'm not going to mix it because if it comes into different patterns that's fine with me and this is going to get so ooey and gooey and I'm just making a little bit of a well down the middle so that that mixture that white mixture seeps down I'm going to pop these in a 350 degree oven these are done they actually took 30 minutes because I made six instead of eight smaller ones. And I am just going to decorate my plate so that it looks restaurant style. And come and take a quick look at these. Look at this. You can see the chocolate crispiness because of the flour. And here's the white that is all the cheesecake. And they're still hot. So I'm just going to run the back of the knife inside the ramekin. And warning, this is going to elicit loud screams of excitement when your guests see this. And look at it come out nice and clean. I'm going to add some whipped cream to this. I have lemon balm growing in my garden just to go with the lemon that I've put inside the volcano cake. Now I've just added some raspberries, some whipped cream, and I have lemon balm from my garden just to marry the lemon that's inside the cheesecake. And if you'll come a little closer, I'm gonna break it open and we'll see if you can see any of the liquid oozing out. Look at that. Look at that, how soft the inside is. It's just starting to collapse on itself. Oh my God, this is so exciting. The outside is a little bit crumbly because of the flour in the cake and the inside is just all gooey and let me just taste it for you and this is hot mm. it is so delicious I've got butter and chocolate and, and cheesecake all over my mouth it's probably all inside my teeth too so I'm just going to try the white part of it mmm it's so soft and moist and liquidy. This is just divine. Your guests are going to love this and only can be made with Philadelphia cream cheese. Look at the gooey inside center. So soft and warm. Mm. This is a little bit of heaven on earth. Your guests are going to love this. Enjoy from Marisa in Toronto with love.